Oh, a rubber ducky, a sponge. Things you cuddle, things you take to bed. A loofah. Uh, things Ricky Ricardo would say. No, pass. It's innovative. Gospel aerobics. It's not really a game show. Kathy Lee. It's two people making candid observations about old game shows and the people on them. It's faux pas, you idiot. Oh, big money gone. Bachelor number one, what's your recipe for cooking up a hot date? You take a girl with the nice meatballs, guy with a big plump sausage, serve with an intoxicating spirit, bada bing, new fun with old games. Ooh, that sounds like faux pas. Gabish. Hello, I'm Mary Gallagher, and welcome to the show that has a good beat and you can dance to it. Faux pause. On today's trip through the vast game show network vault, we pulled out an episode of Jackpot, and we'll be jazzing it up with what the L.A. Times calls Mary and Sean's offbeat yet always hysterical sense of humor and clever sketches. Oh my gosh, we got reviewed by the L.A. Times? <laughs> no, just play along with the bit. Okay, let's start Jackpot. There's a, a midnight show of the Big Lebowski. I am Man's. in. I am so there. Today, 16 players are here trying to win $25,000. Every one of them holds a different riddle, but only one of them holds the jackpot riddle. You never know when someone in the game will stand up and yell, Jackpot! I bet Pavarotti doesn't sleep well at night knowing this guy's out there. I don't think I'm gonna sleep. Ladies and gentlemen, your host is Jeff Edwards. <laughs> Kurt, Kurt, the applause is over now, Kurt. <laughs> I that hate it when beautiful. that happens, don't That I? was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> All uh, right, welcome to Jackpot. These 16 players, the 15 plus Kurt, are here all week with us. <laughs> and they know that the answer to one riddle can be worth $25,000. Now, when time went out yesterday, uh, the jackpot was at $860. Uh, anytime the jackpot matches that target number, which is at $390, uh, they'll uh, be dealing with the super jackpot currently at $10,500. King of the Hill is Carolyn. Carolyn, how you doing? What do you think um, Carolyn does for a living, Sean? Um... I don't know, I'll say dental hygienist. Mm. What do you think? I'll say she's an opera singer. Yeah, right, like they'd have two opera singers on the same show. Oh, <laughs> Good, what do you do for a living? I hate to say it, but I'm an opera singer. Are you? <laughs> how did you know that? Go ahead, kiss it. No, but how did you know that? All right, well, as an actress, when, you know, I'm finished with the role, I always keep a little piece of it with me, and I just got done playing a psychic, and I guess some of that character is still there. Wow. So, with that bit of information, who do you like in the uh, race today at the track? <sighs> Sean, I don't use my powers for financial gain. Some psychic friend you are. Okay, Rambo Racer. Oh boy, oh boy, I'll tell you, we, we a couple of singers, it sounds like, today. There's five players left in this game, Carol. Now, we know that uh, Kurt is holding the jackpot riddle. Worth $860 if you want to try and so uh, solve it now, or you can continue to build up the jackpot at your own risk. I can tell you uh, one of those players has a uh, prize riddle sitting up there we haven't discovered yet, so what do you want to do? I'm going to build up for the jackpot. All right, at okay. your own risk, yeah. but here we go. Uh, that's the part I don't like, my own risk. <laughs> <laughs> my birthday is the ninth. Let's not, number nine. The ninth. For $155, this is my riddle. It sounds corny, but I'm the laboratory puzzle for rats. What am I called? Your maze. Maze is right. Maze is corn. And maze what the rats run through, $1,015. Lucky 13. 13. Okay, Carolyn, for $100, this is my riddle. I'm the wheel that a cheerleader turns. What am I? A cartwheel. A cartwheel is absolutely right. Mary, I'm curious, what else have you played that you've kept a little piece of, aside from your wardrobe? Oh, well, um, I did one of those crime reenactment shows, you know, and I played a great Lorena Bobbitt. Oh, well, why don't we, I mean, um, roll the tape. Now, Carolyn, we're also now approaching uh, the target number, about 275 away, so let's see what happens. Number six. Number six. For a 35 millimeter camera package worth $499, this is my riddle. 
The judge will permit you to swear in court, but only because you're taking me. What am I called? An oath. An oath is right. You've got the camera. I need a camera. <laughs> I've lived a whole life, and I have no memories, no pictures, no photos, nothing. I need a camera. I need a camera, too. Two players left. If you continue to build it up, and the combination of those two players uh, makes $265, you would be going for Super Jackpot with $10,500. But either of those players could knock you right off your perch here, Carolyn. So what are you going to do? Oh, let's go for it. It's good for you. Okay, number four. Number four. Good luck, Carolyn. Either that woman is Sandy Duncan or someone who just likes to dress like Peter Pan. <laughs> Look at that outfit. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Mine wasn't quite as nice, I gotta tell you. What do you mean, mine wasn't as nice? Oh, well, I played Peter Pan once. I really, really loved that role and respected it. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. Any of that role still with you? No, I mean, you know, just the whole flying part. Watch. Yay! I can fly! Hi, Sean! I can see my house from here! Whoopee! Hi, Tinkerbell! What's that? Sure! I'll come with you to Neverland! Wow, Mary can fly. Hey, how come I don't get any of the roles where I get to learn cool stuff? It's just... It's just... <laughs> Hi, Sean! <laughs> oh, I brought you a fresh baguette from Paris. You want some? You probably just got that at a local store. How's my hair? Stunning. There you Ow. go, big guy. Have some. <sighs> wow, it's still warm. Yeah. This must good. be from France. Get my agent on the phone. We'll be right back. Oh, I forgot my wallet on the Champs de Lisée. The Champs de Lisée? Yeah. Mm. You know what? We'll be right back. I'll, I'll return before we come back. Yay! You get me some three? <laughs> Why do the classics endure? Why do we turn to them again and again? Maybe because the things we still value were done right. Like Hidden Valley. It was the first ranch. The authentic original recipe. It's not new or improved. Because we did it right. Hidden Valley. The way ranch is supposed to taste. Here's a first, a dandruff shampoo from Pantene. It turns dandruff problems into healthy, shiny hair. Introducing Pro-V Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. Because all dandruff shampoos are not created equal. Some are harsh. Pro-V is different. It combines a leading dandruff fighting technology with provitamin conditioning to help remove dandruff and relieve itching while it improves your hair's healthy shine. Now you can deal with dandruff and come out shiny. New Pantene Pro-V Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. Another first. He never wrote a book. He never held an office. He never did any of the things that usually accompany greatness. Yet all the kings that ever reigned and all the governments that ever sat have not had so much impact as that single, solitary life. Now you can share the events of his remarkable ministry when you watch this free video, The Lamb of God. It's a gift from The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This powerful video depicts events from the life of Jesus Christ as recorded in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. As you watch scenes of his birth, teaching, trial, death, and resurrection, you will better understand how his life can change your life. Call now for your free copy of The Lamb of God. It's a gift without cost or obligation from The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Here she comes. Oh, can you get the stains off those colors? Relax, I'm Clorox 2. What Clorox bleach does on whites, Clorox 2 does on colors. Ta-da! Clorox 2, the Clorox bleach for colors. Get ready to play. Johnny Carson, Muhammad Ali, Barbara Streisand, Warren Beatty. You just never know who's gonna drop by on What's My Line. And then... My name is Paul Newman and I've got a secret. Join host Gary Moore and one of the funniest panels ever assembled for the most revealing game show in history, I've Got a Secret. Catch What's My Line at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, followed by I've Got a Secret Sundays on Game Show Network. <laughs> Thank you.
Welcome back to Faux Pas and our world traveler Mary here. Bonjour, Sean. Did I miss much of Jackpot? No, not really. Kurt the opera singer and Carolyn the co opera singer split $1,360, and now Kurt is king of the hill. Well, then, let's get back to more Jacques Potta. Jacques Potta. Are you, are you an opera singer with that voice? You must be, Kurt. Yeah, I, I am. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I study opera. Yes. Oh, good for you. Well, you have, it sounds like you have a nice voice. All right, here we go. We're going to start a whole brand new game. Let's take a look at the target number and see what we're going to get this time. 680 is the target number. Anytime the jackpot matches that number, 680, you'll have a chance at a super jackpot worth $16,000 in this game. Here we go. Number three, please. Number three. Betty. Jackpot! Wow. Well, there it is right away. Uh, Betty, uh, you probably want her to sit down and build it up. Yeah, right? I think I, let's build it up a little. Okay, yeah. not much to divide there. Go ahead. <laughs> Number 10, please. Number 10. Okay, Kurt. For $130, this is my riddle. I'm the swimming stroke that Fido uses. What am I? The dog paddle. Right, you are. Good for you. Uh, number eight, please. Great. Right. For $100, this is my riddle. I'm not a bee, but I can buzz. Just plug me in and lose your fuzz. What am I? I'm not a bee, but I can buzz. Just plug me in and you lose your fuzz. What am I? I love how host Jeff Edwards has to repeat the riddle even though Kurt is ready to answer it. I love how the host Jeff Edwards has to repeat the riddle even though Kurt is ready to answer it. A shaver. Yeah, a shaver, razor. electric razor, sure. That's <laughs> it. Good for you. Uh, number 12, please. Number 12. Hey. For $155, this is my riddle. I'm the police team that kills a lot of flies. <laughs> Which team am I? I'm the police team that kills a lot of flies. Which team am I? The SWAT team. Yeah, Kurt, doing great. <laughs> All right, building up that jackpot nicely. Uh, number one, please. Number one. Okay, Kurt. What do you have, Alexis? Oh, boy. For a Whirlpool <laughs> refrigerator wow. worth $1,115, this is my riddle. I'm an award for a Broadway actor, just like Mr. Randall. What I'm a, am I? I'm an award for a Broadway actor, just like Mr. Randall, for a Whirlpool refrigerator. What am I? The Tony Award. Tony is right. Good for you. When you hear the name Tony Randall, what do you immediately think of? A man in his late 70s who just had a baby with a woman who's 26? No, I was thinking the odd couple. Yeah, well, I'd say they're an odd couple. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Sean, I can't imagine what it would be like being 26 and having a baby with a man in his late 70s. Or can I? There you go. You were hungry. Is you hungry? Is you hungry? Okay, open up. Here comes the airplane. That's a good boy. Uh-oh. Does baby need his diaper changed? Hey, so do I. Okay, well, we'll change both my boys' diapers, and then it's nursing time. Okay? <gasps> Wonderful. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You all right? Yeah. Didn't like your little daydream, did you? Well, now that depends. <laughs> Bada boom. Boy, you're doing great, Kurt. Uh, let's do number nine, please. Number nine. For $150, this is my riddle. Your home phone has many letters, but we're the two letters that phoned home. What letters are we? E.T. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> okay, you have successfully built up the jackpot to $535. Should you find $145 riddle and solve it, you'd match the target number and be going for $16,000. And I can tell you, with that $16,000 sitting there, there is a $145 riddle in this group. Nine players. Can you find the right one? I hope so. Uh, number six, please. $145. For $200, mm. this is my riddle. Sit down, Victor. We'll try someone. <laughs> no. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. I'm the one-hour show that should take two days to watch. What am I called? I'm the one-hour show that should take two days to watch. What am I called? 
Uh, 48 hours. Right, there you go, that's it. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in just a second. You know, I remember the show 48 Hours. That was with Dan Rather and Nick Nolte, right? Hey, Sean, you can do a lot of impressions, so I hear. Um, can you do Nick Nolte? Ellie, yeah, come on, Jack. We're going to catch your gains in the next 30th of an hour, and we'll have more jackpot here in full pause, Reggie. Okay, well, if you couldn't have done it, you could just say so. Um, let's try another one. How about Dan Rather? <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that supposed to be Eddie Murphy? What is that? Dream along with me. He has had 148 songs on the pop chart spanning four decades, 50 top ten hits, 14 number one hits. Find a wheel and it goes round. Now, Cornerstone Promotions brings you a classic collection by the great Perry Como. One of the world's most beloved performers. Don't let the stars get in your eyes. Don't let them. So many unforgettable hits. Catch a falling star and put it in your pocket. Never let it fade. Other love have I. This 40 song treasury features Perry Como's biggest hits and inspirational favorites. Some enchanted evening. Wanted someone who kissed me. A. You're adorable. B. You're so beautiful. Till the end of time. Papa loves mambo. Mama loves mambo. Up de doo. Up de doo. I hear a polka and my troubles are through. Cause I got me a real life Cupid doll. And she's the cutest one of them all. It's impossible. Tell the sun to leave. This the special Perry Como collection is not available in any store. Here's how to order. Call this toll-free number now for Perry Como. Two cassettes, $19.98. Two CDs, $26.98. Plus $4.95 shipping. Have your credit card ready and call now. All right, my mom would kill me if I didn't ask you this. Can you do Jack Nicholson? Uh, as a comedian, it's forbidden by the comedian code. Oh, hi. I'm Mary, and he's Sean, and this is Faux Paws. We're going to get back to Jeff Edwards and more of Jackpot. Bob. <laughs> you do come up with them, don't you, Bob? <laughs> All right, Bob, we know where the jackpot riddle is. Betty has it. Go for it if you want. There's a $735 in the jackpot. You want, might want to build it up, as you just saw. It's at your own risk. I want to build it up with number 11, please. Number 11. For a return trip, <laughs> this is my riddle. Look at Bob's face. He's like, please, don't tell me I have to come back next week. I'm begging you. I put spaghetti in the red. What am I? You should get both of you a trip back to the show next week. If you get it right, Bob, I put spaghetti in the red. What am I? Sauce. Spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti sauce. OK, marinara sauce, tomato sauce, right you are. You'll both be coming back next All right, week. Karen. All right, Bob. Same choice as before. Okay, number seven, please. Number seven, building it up. For $125, this is my riddle. If you're naturally well-bred, or Emily Post you have read, then you really should be able to mind us at the table. What are we? Your manners. Manners is right. Yes, indeed. 860 bucks in jackpot. Go for it or go on. I'm going to build it up some more with uh, number two, please. Number two. For $135, this is my riddle. I'm the insect that could have been called a lawn leaper. What am I called? I'm the insect that could have been called a lawn leaper. What am I called? A grasshopper. A grasshopper, yes, indeed. Ah, oh, grasshopper. Snatch the pebble from my hand, and you have to come back for a <laughs> third week, too. <laughs> Man, they have a lot of fun on this show. You know, um, we have a large studio audience here at Faux Paws. Right, everybody? Okay, so let's try it. I'll be Jeff Edwards, and you be the contestant. 
Go ahead, pick a number. Oh, okay, uh, number seven. Okay, number seven. Okay, for $12, here's my riddle. I'm the big yellow character on Sesame Street, or what I'm about to flip to you. I'm the big yellow character on Sesame Street, or what I am about to flip to you. The bird? That's right! Pick a... Hey, there was no reason for you to actually do that gesture. Pick another number. Um, 14. Um, 14. For negative $26.83, uh, it's my checkbook, sorry, hold on. Okay, for a return trip next week, oh, that's great. This is my riddle. I'm the famous battle of 1066, or New Orleans Saints wide receiver, Andre. I don't know. Nobody would know that. That's too hard. <laughs> it's Hastings, looks like I'm out of here on Friday. All right, you know what? He made up that question just so he so, doesn't have to come back. So well, maybe I, I want don't. him out of here. Fine. You're out of here. You I can leave now. Far, far young man there from any more you know, tapings. So hey, put just... that finger down, young man. Oh. You are out. You are out of hand. You are way out of line. Some people don't know how to have fun. Some sense of decorum would be now. Oh. <laughs> oh. Way oh, out of line. Don't worry, Mary. <laughs> I'll get you your twelve bucks. Thank you. $995. Take another chance? Yeah. Number 13. <laughs> Number 13. Sure, I'm coming back next week. What do I care, right? <laughs> For $110, this is my riddle. I was the most popular dance at the pretzel factory. What dance am I? The twist. Yes, Bob, that is right. $1,105. Now what? Um... I'm gonna keep going. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Number four, Linda. Number four. All right, Bob. Four. You wanna do the Peter Pan thing again? Nah. $160, this is my riddle. I'm the C product that you can mop the floor with. What am I? I'm the C product that you can mop the floor with. What am I? You're a sponge. Right you are, Bob. <laughs> Two more riddles left. Number 15. Number 15. Okay, Bob. For $145, this is my riddle. I'm what a has-been actor hopes for. A teen bride? A reconciliation with the IRS. Ooh, that sounds a little personal, Sean. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. You know, plus my lawyer tells me I can't. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. We're going to come back with that Yeah, well, speaking right of coming on... back, look who's here, huh? Hey, yeah, what... how are you two doing? What did you forget, your bad attitude? No, my checkbook. That's a useless prop. Get out of here. Yeah. You, out of my studio. We could have been good together, sunshine. Oh! Oh, oh again with scared. the finger! You are a horrid young man. That is so rude. Oh, oh. You'll never know what to expect on Three's a Crowd. Catch my... Watch Three's a Crowd, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, Saturdays on Game Show Network. My mama always said... You'd be surprised how much you can get done. If it's all got to get done, that means keeping an eye on things. So I wondered about snacks cooked in that new fat-free cooking oil called Olean. I found out the Crisco folks came up with it, starting from crops to grow here, like soybeans. The chips taste real good, have a lot less fat and fewer calories. You know a good thing when you see one. New fat-free Olean, a good place to start. Walk into a house clean with Pine Saw, mm, and you know it's clean. Well, now there's a new smell of clean, new rain clean Pine Saw. The power of Pine Saw, but with a fresh scent, mm, like after a spring rain. New rain clean Pine Saw.
Imagine you're on an asteroid the size of Texas. The bad news? You're on a collision course with Earth. We're on a collision course with Earth! The good news? You got some McDonald's fries. Now when you supersize America's favorite fries, you could win one of a million tickets to the mega-hit movie Armageddon. They've got front row tickets to the end of the world. So do we! Who treats you to summer's hottest ticket? Did somebody say McDonald's? Do you need a Visa credit card? If you can say yes to these minimum requirements, we'll say yes to you. This is a special opportunity to get an unsecured Visa credit card with no security deposit required, even if you've been turned on before and regardless of your past credit history. Almost everyone will be approved for this Visa credit card, so call now. Repeat, if you can say yes to these minimum requirements, we'll say yes to you. Say yes to this limited no-risk offer for an unsecured Visa credit card from Cross Country Bank. Call this toll-free number now. Next up, it's Faux Paws Picks, followed by Match Game and Tattletales. Those bloodsuckers are saying, I can't claim my pet monkey, Sammy, as a dependent. But he sleeps in the... Oh, hi. We're back, and welcome to Faux Paws. Sammy? I'll explain it later. Okay, right. Now, while we were gone, Bob and Betty actually won the jackpot! Yeah, and before we cash in our chips and head home, it's time for one last visit to Neverland with Linda and Betty. What am I? Now, listen to this carefully. If you, dr if you drink a bit too much of me, plaid elephants here will certainly see. What am I? I don't drink but scotch. Scotch is right! <laughs> you know... I realize the answer was Scotch, and I'm doing an Irish accent, so good the, for you. The plan did $1,235 in a jackpot, five players left. One of them has a jackpot riddle, but again, if you got all five players uh, left, we'd put another $1,000 in the jackpot for you. How about number three, Bob? Is it you? For $115, this is my riddle. I have scales that can't weigh anything, and I'm part of a school that can't teach anything. What creature am I? I'm a fish. Right you are. <laughs> Besides all the other possibilities, you're $200 away from the target number. Find a $200 riddle, and you'll be going for $11,000. Fifteen. How much you worth, Brian? For $155. This is my riddle. I get tanked so you can breathe easier. What am I? I get Oxygen? Oxygen, yes. Did you hear that? Betty just cut off Jeff Edwards before he could even repeat it. You know, I think I speak for everyone in saying, thank you, Betty. Thank you. You know what? Thank I don't you. even want to go back to the tape. I don't you know don't. about you, but I'm just tired of, tired of hearing Jeff repeat stuff. Tell me about the monkey. Oh, the monkey. What oh, Sammy. I mean, he's a dependent. He's my driver. I mean, you'd bring him to gigs. Um, you know, I had his own room, and I tried to write it off as an office. Does he wear little they, hats? They came and checked it out, and they said, that's not a room, that's like a crawl space, sir. I mean, who could use that as an office? I said, well, a fine monkey could. You know, he'd wear the comedy You know, vest that's all and, great and well, but, you know, but I got a flight see, to catch myself. Wait, you, it's all about you, isn't it? Every waking moment's about you. I try to tell you my little story about my monkey, the IRS, and you just want to jet off to Italy. On Game Show Network, anyone can win terrific prizes like this. Grolier's Encyclopedia Americana. This authoritative encyclopedia provides comprehensive, up-to-date subject coverage in 30 volumes with over 30 million words from Grolier Incorporated. 